Okay, so Boone just caught and killed this muskrat. So we're gonna do a quick little trail with it for Bindi. farm in Georgia and close to the Florida line Well I've been here for two long years, I finally made the warden my friend So he sentenced me to a life of ease, taking care of old Red Now old Red, he's the damnedest dog that I've ever seen Got a nose that can smell a two-day trail He's a four-legged tracking machine You might consider yourself mighty lucky To get past some gators and the quicksand bed Cause all these years that I've been here Ain't nobody got past free And the warden saying, come on somebody Why don't you run over it this Get my lantern, get my gun Red on heavy tree for the morning come Well I paid off the guard and I slipped out a letter To my cousin up in Tennessee Oh, and he brought down a blue tick hound She was pretty as she could be Swamp land about a mile just south of the gate. I take old Red for his evening brown. I just drop him off and wait. And the warden saying, Come on, somebody, why don't you run? Old Red, this have a little fun. Get my lantern, get my gun. Red on heavy tree for the To see his lady every night. And so it kept him away for three or four days and waited till the time got right. Well, I made my run with the evening sun and I smiled when I heard him turn old Red out. Cause I was headed north in Tennessee and old Red was headed south. Somebody, why don't you run? Oh, Red, this have a little fun. Get my lantern, get my gun. Red will have you treat for the morning come. Now there's red haired blue ticks all in the south. Love got me in here, love got me. Okay, 
let's be tricky. Let's see if she can figure this out. There we go, she can't see it. We'll see if she can smell it. What's out there? Couldn't be happier with Bindi, man. She followed my track to such perfection. And uh, yeah, absolutely perfect job. What a good little pup. I'm really proud of her. And what I thought would be a trick putting it under this bridge wasn't a trick at all. That was easy for her. Super proud of her. Thanks for watching, guys. Show you more Look. next time. I found two. I got one too. You want to show what you found? Look, Daddy, I found another one. Show, show the camera, go show the camera. Look. What'd you find? A leech. It looks so big, that leech. I know. Look what I found. Eh. Oh. <laughs> I found a treasure. A shovel? A shovel. Oh, what's on the shovel? What? A leech? Oh, how did you know? Look, a leech. Is that really a leech? That's really a leech. Do you want a leech? She's a little baby one. Do you want a pet leech? Be very gentle. It's so gooey. It's so gooey. Should we go find a little bottle and keep a pet leech? Uh huh. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's have a pet leech. Chicken Yeah. Okay, so Boone just. Okay, so Boone just. Okay, so Boone just. <laughs> no. Oh, you should love the camera running. That was stupid. It's funny. Okay. Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with YouTube censorship. They've got some serious censorship issues going on in YouTube and their policies are constantly changing. So I created the Mink Man's Exclusive Club where I can share these exclusive videos as well as give you guys a more behind the scenes look at our lives and how we train our animals. 
In YouTube, you guys see one or two videos a week, whereas I'm typically posting anywhere from three to six videos a week on my Mink Man's exclusive club. Now, this club is more than just videos. People can ask me questions directly. They could even send me private messages. I can also share interesting stories that maybe I didn't capture on video. I can share interesting statistics on my different mink or dogs and really just give you guys an inside look on what we do and on my animals' lives. I really appreciate you following me here on YouTube, but if you want to get a behind the scenes look and be able to watch these exclusive videos that YouTube censors out, you'll need to join us on Mink Man's exclusive club.